LinkedIn profile optimization checklist. Now, this is going to be an eight step profile optimization video that will put you on the fast track to acquiring clients through LinkedIn. Now, the first thing that I would want you to understand is your LinkedIn profile is not a resume. It is a sales letter. Hi guys, my name is Prosper Taruinga and I'll be taking you through this um, profile optimization checklist. Now, what is this checklist going to help you do? It's going to help you convert more leads and customers and this checklist will help you craft your profile into a very effective sales letter through expert positioning and basic sales techniques that we will go through. Now, your LinkedIn profile is a means to actually communicate a very specific message to a specific audience that you serve and solve problems for, okay? So your number one goal is to get your viewers to start taking action right from the get-go and every aspect of your profile can actually affect your vi what your visitors are gonna do next, as you will notice, okay? Now, the first part of your LinkedIn is the banner that you have behind there, all right? As you can notice, my one says, we provide great results to help grow your business. You want to use your banner to actually send a message and grab immediate attention. Remember, people already have a three-second uh, attention span these days, and it's often overlooked how, you know, that background photo um, can be very effective okay so you want to make sure that it's already sending a message before anyone goes deeper into your profile you also want to make sure that your profile picture is sending the clear message that you want them to see okay you want you know them to see uh, professional and if you're going to expect business owners or other b2b clients to have um, and give you large amounts of money every single month, you need to be very professional, all right? So the very first step is a high-quality headshot with very good lighting and preferably a smile and some sort of business attire. A picture of you eating a burger at McDonald's is not going to send the right uh, picture to your prospective client there, okay? Now, your expertise uh, should be detailed and should be the first thing that normally people see, all right? Um, as you can notice in here, I've already highlighted what my expertise is right from the get-go, okay? Your name is going to be the biggest and boldest text on the page, so you want to take advantage of it. So when you're adding your expertise to your name field, um, you will immediately communicate what you actually do and what you're good at to your audience the very second that they view your profile. Also, this new addition to your name will now show up in all search results and snippets, making you really, really stand out on your page. And if you've noticed, if you Google your name, I'm not saying that you're vain, um, your LinkedIn profile is usually one of the first um, results that comes up. So you want to get people's attention right from the get-go and explain to them what it is that you do, okay? And so that people are not guessing and, um, you know, just, you know, making assumptions there. So you also want to utilize the second part of your um, profile, which is the heading section. Normally, it's really good to ask a question there immediately or to put a bold statement or a headline. The reason being, this is your first call to action. You want to pull your audience in with a compelling question that goes right to the heart of their pain point, and then you tell them that you actually do have a solution to their pain, okay? Now, the third thing that people underestimate is the amount of people that are connected with you, okay? You want to hit the 500 plus connection mark. Once you go over 500, LinkedIn stops counting, okay? So it, um, you know, people will place more trust in you if they find out that others have already connected with you by extension and have also put trust in you. This is um, expert positioning and social proof all rolled into one. So you want to make sure that you, um, you know, look at this. Uh, there's people that want to join my network. Answer those, um, you know, uh, calls and also just look for anyone else in your address book 
and go up until you go past 500. LinkedIn stops counting after 500, okay? Now, the second part, um, the sixth step, sorry, uh, <laughs> going a little fast. The sixth step is to make sure that your summary section is a sales letter, okay? The reason being, this is where you actually make the big pitch, all right? Um, you wanna tell your clients there what your value proposition is and why they should do business with you, all right? In there, you also have um, um, project section where you can actually put links that you can then utilize um, to link directly to an outside URL in a perfect way to send people to either a squeeze page or some sort of conversion page that you can turn uh, the people that come through as a lead. Also make sure you get people to view your profile. This is new. Um, if people have viewed your profile, it shows that you're relevant and people are uh, seeking out your expertise within the market, okay? You also wanna make sure that you highlight your past experiences but those that are really relevant to what you are doing at the current and present moment, all right? And um, future clients want to see your track record and that other people trust you and, you know, getting past um, clients and co-workers to actually uh, place recommendations or endorsements on whatever it is that you have done will also go a long way in beefing up your profile okay so pretty much those are the eight steps that you really want to do you see it's just the first part of your profile that we just looked at and this will definitely um you know help you optimize your linkedin and it will put you on the fast track to acquiring clients through this social platform thank you very much